distance of one mile from Upton Creek Road, which is just a little ways from Mud River, from there directly to Pea Ridge Cemetery. It's a direct shot. This was an old Delta Road, and the gas company came in there and upgraded it somewhat a few years back. This is the main county road going straight to Route 7 to the cemetery. It's six-tenths of one mile. So I've got all the county maps you want to see it. The reason this road is not maintained is because no one had ever requested that it be maintained. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Route 64. Oh, six, all oh, up the middle. Route 64 is six-tenths of a mile. This road that is maintained so well is because myself and my father have maintained it for the last 16 years. I've got receipts here for gravel that I put on. The state has done absolutely nothing to this road in 10 years. Ross, from right here to right here. Floors here. Um, I have uh, an agreement here with the gas company, and they drilled the well to upgrade the road to, my, to put back on it what I put on it. This is from the intersection right here. You can see the numbers right here from here to my driveway. Then the gas company uh, agreed to maintain this to the top of the hill to Route 7. Route 7 was the main county road that went from Big, uh, Big Ugly all the way to the dam on Mud River. Route 64 is the main road that went from Upton Creek Road, which is accessed by either Laurel Fork or Mud River, straight to Pea Ridge Cemetery. If, if, if they maintain the road properly, this would be the quickest way to get to the cemetery, the quickest way to get to anyone else's property. No one else owns any property along this section that I want closed. And I'm going to show you pictures here. This is taken last week. Um, this is the condition of the road that I, that I provide and that I've done. I actually rented equipment over the last two or three years. I've rented equipment to grade it. I've rented equipment to ditch it. This is, this is the road in question. This is the main road coming from Mud River and from Laurel Fork. This is what the state is supposed to maintain and do, and do not. And as you can see here, this is the journal from last week, so these pictures are very current. I just wanted to verify that. This is, this is the condition of the road coming straight up the main road from Laura Fork or Mud River. And you can see the trees that fell in December, on December the 17th when the snowstorm hit. There has been nothing done to that road in almost a year. Nothing, absolutely nothing, no grading. They haven't even cleared the trees from December. So you see the difference in, in the way I maintain the road and the way the state maintains the road. We're talking about you know, who's going to maintain the road. I've always maintained this road. But yet we travel along the state here. They do absolutely nothing. So I think the solution is, is to get the state, if, if everybody wants to petition the state to get their Route 7, which is where everybody here's property lies on, Route 7. Everybody here, there was no one here except the petitioners that own property from this intersection to that intersection. That's not, that should not be contested. I've got the tax maps to prove it. And I think I gave you a copy of the tax map also. As you can see, Route 7 goes all the way through. Pea Ridge Cemetery is right there. County Road 64 goes straight to Pea Ridge Cemetery. To get to the cemetery this way, you have to go all the way around. It's two and a half miles around. They talk about two and a half miles. It's two and a half miles around the ridge through my property to get back to Pea Ridge Cemetery. So I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that I'm trying to block anybody from This is the only solution we've been able to come up with in 16 years. This is not something that that we deal with five times a year, or we go back there to recreational use of property. We live here. We've called the police, and the police said, and I quote, do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. Well, that, you know, that's a fine how do you do when you got your wife and kids and mother and sisters and, and daughters coming in and out there, and the police are telling you do what you have to do. And I understand that Sheriff Bowman has his hands full. I understand we have to have neighborhood crime watch and other organizations. I understand that. But we don't live in a place where that's feasible. But what is feasible is to get the state, to petition the state, to maintain their Route 64, which is a higher grade of road than Delta 11. Commissioner Pan, I'd just like to point out, as you can see from that aerial shot, neighborhood watch would consist of those two houses. There are no neighbors within at least probably five to six Here's miles. Here's some pictures just right along this road where they pull up there and throw their trash. And, you know, it's just, this is the road going from Laurel Fork to Mud River, the main <coughs> road that the state is supposed to maintain. And, more pictures of the same. The trees and the trash and the, the beer. And, and you know, I understand these people in the taxes. I'm going to tell you something. I, we get about 11 keys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one or two people in this whole room. There has never been a property owner come to me and say, I, you know, I got property back in there. I need a key. 
and, and I'll give it to you. Have. I know for a fact I've and, and I would never change the I would never change the lock. The lock that was on there had been on there for the last ten years. However, that the gate had been closed for almost four or eight years. But the the solution in my estimation is to get the state to maintain their Route 7, to maintain their Route 64, which is directly to all these properties that these people are talking about. But this Delta 11, which I keep up, and I have a receipt for gravel right here, you can see it's some loading concrete. I'm sorry. Where I personally paid for gravel the last time, it was last fall sometime, to put gravel on this road. The state's not going to do anything unless people get together and petition for the state to do it. And I, you know, if we can get together the state and say, fix your 64, fix your 7, and leave this alone. Because, yeah, you're right. It, it'll push people back out of my face, but that's enough. I mean, that's enough for me just to say, you know, you do your drinking and your... Me and my daughter loves to camp. We love to go camping in the fall of the year when the skis and snakes aren't out. We walk to our camp spot, which is over the top of the hill. And at the time, I didn't want to say anything to my 10-year-old daughter because somebody had planted marijuana on my property back there on top of the hill out away from my law enforcement. I found all their little potting soils and their little this and that. And I, I own 275 acres in here. I don't have time to go patrolling my property to find every place where somebody might plant marijuana. And I'd tell my daughter, she said, what is that, Daddy? And I said, well, that's just, that's somebody littered there. But I knew what it was. And it was in November and they'd done it that year. And that's been a couple years ago. So, you know, my argument is, please close this road and tell the state to fix their Route 7, which comes from a blacktop road on Big Agley all the way through to Mud River. This comes from up and straight to P P Ridge Cemetery. It's six-tenths of a mile. You can see it on the map, on the, on the, on the uh, state road map. It's six-tenths of a mile from right there to P Ridge Cemetery, which is where everybody's property that's in here lies. Nobody owns any property even remotely close to this road that I'm, I'm asking to be closed from the intersection of Lower Fork Road back to Route 7. And you know, I understand people need access, and I, like I said, I give out keys, and if anybody ever came to me and said, you know, I got property back in there, I've had two property owners come to me and said, the gate's the best thing that ever happened. And I gave them the key. And I don't care a bit if people come up there, and they open the gate and go through, well, that never concerns me, but that does not work. That does not work if you have drunks and drugs and, and all that back in there, it's got keys and doing all, I mean, it's not blocking anybody from anything. And if, if, the, if, the, if the state would keep up these roads, which, which should be kept up, and I have no idea how they get by with not doing that. I mean, they're on the state system. They're, this is an old Delta road. It's listed as a Delta road. But see, it speaks to me, even though if everyone in here were petitioning for them to upgrade those other roads, I think the message I already hear from the state is that's not a priority. If they're not keeping up now, why would they start? They're not even keeping your road up now, why would well, they start? Well, you know, because enough people, I guess, would petition for it. Uh, I have, I mean, what I'm saying is these are county roads. This was an old Delta road, connector road. I, the state didn't do anything here. I did. This road was... the gas company. Me and the gas company. You see the agreements? No, the gas company only did from, from there to the top of the hill. My father put my father put eleven $1 hundred dollars worth of gravel on that road just a few years ago. Eleven $1 hundred dollars on the road from the pines to our driveway, from the force of the road to the driveway, the part I want closed. The state has done absolutely nothing on this road for ten years. Nothing. That's just typical, probably across this county. Did the gas company tear your gate down? Who tore the gates down when it was drilling all the wells back? The gas company to to be able to get the equipment and they took the. Who tore gates it down out. the last since November? It was tore down again. The state took the gate out on November seventeenth. Right. So it's been tore down twice in the last two uh, years. Well, actually, the it gate started, was put up in yeah. in, in two thousand three. Two thousand three. It's, it's been at uh, seven or eight years we've been dealing with this problem. And you and you put the gate back yourself, or state put it back for you, or the did the gas company? No, the gas company didn't put it back. I you put, put it, it back. Yeah, we put it back. And you just you put it back because you didn't want nobody traveling. I put it back because you cannot if you have a road opened up there. You can't, you can't have you, any peace, you can't have I, any 